Hi everybody, I am Naufal. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss regarding celiac disease or gluten sensitive endropathy or gluten endropathy. Okay, so what is mean by celiac disease? For some children by birth, okay, by birth the enzyme that is required to absorb gluten will be absent. The enzyme that is required to absorb gluten will be absent. So, what is gluten? Gluten is a nutrition. Gluten is a protein. Gluten is a protein. To absorb that gluten, the enzyme is required. That enzyme will be absent in some children by birth. That is celiac disease. So, whenever the child with celiac disease, whenever they are taking gluten containing food, they will start to show the signs and symptoms like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, abdominal cramp and abdominal distension. Okay, whenever they are taking gluten containing food, like these symptoms we can see. So, mainly the food items which have gluten content is barley, rye, oats, wheat. Okay, mainly in barley, rye, oats, wheat, the gluten content is there in the cereals. Gluten content is there. So, the question will come for you. Weaning has started. So, what is weaning? Weaning means food other than breast milk. So, weaning has started and the mother is giving wheat or barley to the baby. The baby started vomiting, nausea is there and uh, diarrhea is there, abdominal pain is there, abdominal distension is there and abdominal cramp is there. What is the condition? The question will ask. Without any doubt, you can give the answer that is celiac disease or gluten sensitive endropathy. Clear? So, mainly you have to keep it in mind regarding these food items that is barley, rye, oats and wheat for mnemonic you have to keep in mind bro food. You have to avoid bro food. Okay, do not give bro food that is barley, rye, oats and wheat to the children who is having celiac disease. So, the question will ask which food we have to give for the celiac disease and the options will be barley, rye, oats and vegetables. So, vegetables you can give. You have to avoid barley, rye, oats and wheat. Okay. Sometimes to confuse you, they are asking the food items that can be given, okay, the food item that can be given to the celiac disease patient and the options will be barley, rye, processed oats and wheat. So, you will get confused. In barley, gluten is there. Rye also gluten is there. Oats also gluten is there. Wheat also gluten is there. Which food you can give among these? for celiac disease patient. So, do not get confused. Processed oats is the option, right? So, processed oats is gluten free. So, you have to select the option processed oats. I told you have to avoid barley, rye, oats and wheat. But processed oats is gluten free. So, processed oats you can give for celiac disease patient. Clear. And one more important thing, during the endoscopic examination, villous atrophy will be present in celiac disease. Repeatedly, this question is asking. Okay. Villous atrophy is present. What is the condition? That is celiac disease. Okay. Or else they will ask like this, during uh, the celiac disease patient, during endoscopic examination, what you can see that is villous atrophy in the endoscopic examination villous atrophy will be present okay so keep it in mind you have to avoid barley rye oats and wheat but 
processed oats is the option you can give because processed oats is gluten free and regarding the management it is simple avoid gluten containing food that is barley rye oats and wheat that's all regarding celiac disease we will meet soon with another video till that time thank you and goodbye